Now question number 36 says, a car starts its journey from point P and reaches point R through the path as shown in the figure. If A is equal to 1 meter, B is equal to 6 meter, small r is equal to 7 meter, ratio of the distance to the magnitude or displacement of the car will be take pi equal to 22 by 7. Options are 1 as to 1, 73 as to 21, 29 as to 27, last option 73 as to 49. Now dear student, what is the distance in this case? This is given equal to 1 meter and the radius is given equal to 7 meter. B is given equal to 6 meter and this radius is again 7 meter. So D become equal to 1 meter and then this is pi into R and plus 6 plus this become equal to 2 pi into r right so let's fill the values so this is 1 meter plus 22 meter plus 6 meter plus 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 so 44 so this become 1 plus 22 plus 6 plus 44 meter and this is equal to 73 meter. Whereas the displacement of car is equal to shortest path length from here to here. This is A which is equal to 1 meter. Then from this point to this, this is 2R. And then from Q to this point, this is 6 meter. And from here to here is 4R. So this become equal to 1 plus 14 meter plus 6 meter plus 28 meter. And this become equal to 49 meter. 20 plus this 29 meter. So ratio of the distance to displacement is equal to the distance to the displacement value. And that is equal to. 73 by 49. So your correct option is answer number 4. Let's move to the next problem. Now the question number 37 says a room has the dimensions of 4 meter, 3 meter by 5 meter and an insect move from one vertex to the diagonally opposite vertex on the cube. The magnitude of the displacement of the insect will be, these are the four options and if you draw the cube and what is this that this is a cuboid and in the cuboid the start from the region I take as this one this is your x axis and say so this is a y axis this is z axis 4 meter long this 3 long this and 5 this so this is the the displacement required and your displacement s is equal to x square plus y square plus z square root and x is how much this distance is 4 and this distance is 3 and this distance is 5 so 4 square plus 3 square plus 5 square and 4 square is 16 plus 9 plus 25 root of 50 and root of 50 will become equal to 25 into 2 and your answer will be 5 root 2 meter and option number 2 is 5 root 2 meter so answer to this question is option number 2 and let's move to the next problem question number 38 says that a drunkard moves on a straight road such that he takes 7 steps forward and 2 steps backward in each cycle if the stride length of each step is 1 feet and the drunkard moves with the speed of 2 feet per second in forward direction and 4 feet per second in the backward direction. Then the time after which the drunkard will fall into a pit 11 feet further from his initial starting point is. These are 4 options 6 second, 2.5 second, 7 second and 2 second. Now let's draw the rough sketch. The drunkard start from this point and from here there is a pit at the distance of 11 feet
Now, what is his cycle? He moves from here, goes seven step forward. Seven step means seven feet because one feet is equal to one step. Then he returns back and moves two steps. That means two feet backward. So after one cycle, it's covering the distance of five feet. And how far is the pit? The pit from here is at six feet. But he will go forward by seven steps. Therefore, from here, just on the sixth step, that is at six feet, he will fall into the pit. And how much is the total distance covered in the forward direction? So distance in forward is seven feet and six feet is 13 feet forward. And how much distance is backward? It's two feet backward. And how will you find the time? The time is time for forward motion and time for backward motion. And forward how much? It takes two feet per second. The time will be distance that is 13 feet and his speed was 2 feet per second and backward the distance covered is 2 feet and the speed is 4 feet per second. So this would give the required time 6.5.5 so this becomes 7.0 second. So it takes 7 second to fall into this pit. So option number 3 is the correct option. Right. Let's move to the next problem. Question number 39 says, on observing a signboard about the speed limit, a driver applies brakes and reduces his speed from 100 meter per second to 50 meter per second through a distance of 50 meter. The uniform retardation provided by the brakes in meter per second square will be, these are the four options, 25, 75, 50 and 10. Now, dear student, this is the question on constant acceleration and let's say this is the starting point and your vehicle, this is traveling at 100 meter per second initially. The driver is applying a brake like this and reduces uniform speed at this point, the speed become equal to 50 meter per second and over the distance of K1 equal to 50 meter. And we have the formula v square minus u square is equal to 2s. v is given equal to 50. u is the initial which is 100. a I have taken negative. So you can take minus sign. And what is your s is 50. If you solve because we have taken direction negative. So your 100 a become equal to 100 square minus 50 square. So a is equal to 100 a minus b a minus b formula. So 100 plus 50 into 100 minus 50 divided by 100. So this become 150 into 50 by this. This is equal to 75. So retardation was 75 meter per second square. So answer to this question is option number 2. Right. Let's move to the next problem. Question number 40 says that the acceleration of the particle varies with time as a equal to 12 t square meter per second square. If the particle starts its motion from rest, then its displacement in the initial two second will be first option is 16 meter, second is 24 meter, third is 64 meter and last is 4 meter. Now dear student, acceleration a is given equal to 12 into t square. See the acceleration is changing. And the particles start from motion from rest, so u is 0, and displacement in first two seconds is required. From acceleration, we will calculate velocity, and from velocity, we will calculate the displacement using method of integration. So for a, I write dv by dt, and dv by dt will be equal to 12 into t square. Therefore, dv is equal to 12 into t square into dt. Now, we will integrate with the limits. The velocity is initial 0, after some time it will be v, the time 0 and time t. So if this is v minus 0 and right side it's 12 and t limit is 0 to t by integration. So v is equal to 4 into t cube. 
So if v is equal to this one, we use that v is equal to ds by dt and that is equal to 4 into t cube. So ds become equal to 4 t cube into dt. Now, displacement in 2 second, the displacement in 2 second ds from 0 to s and 2 second means we have to take the limit from 0 to 2, 4 t cube into dt. So the 4 is outside and t power 4 by 4 and limits are from 0 to 2, 4 cancel with this one and 4 means 2 power 4 minus 0 power 4 integration. This is 16 meter. So answer to this question is option number 1. Let's move to the next problem. Mm -hmm.